Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about optical character recognition. So optical character recognition um, is used, for example, whenever you have uh, a PDF file or an image uh, that has some text and um, in the case where you can't, for example, select it. So if we had a JPEG image and the JPEG image had text inside of it, we wouldn't necessarily be able to uh, copy or even select the text to be able to copy and paste it out and sometimes with PDFs PDFs might have um, might be compiled in such a way where you also can't select the text uh, inside of the PDF so if we want to be able to extract the text um, and we can't select it then we probably have to use optical character recognition so um, I have this PDF here and uh, this particular PDF um, uh, has Korean, Korean character, Korean languages, Korean language in it, as well as English language. And we are going to use optical character recognition to be able to extract uh, this text. Okay, so I just have a normal, basically a normal PDF. Um, but this would also work with images. In fact, one of the first things we will do with this PDF is convert it into an image. So I am on uh, Ubuntu Linux. I have a, a terminal open and I've already installed um, uh, a tool called Tesseract OCR. Um, so if you haven't installed it yet, uh, you can install it with sudo apt uh, install uh, Tesseract OCR. Tesseract OCR. Um, yeah, so for now we'll just install that and I'll talk about um, some other packages you might want to install uh, shortly. So I've already installed Tesseract OCR and we can run Tesseract just by using the Tesseract uh, command. If I do it with dash H then uh, I get all of the different options that we have here. Okay, but I'm going to clear that out for now. Uh, Tesseract also has, if I can pull it up, Tesseract OCR also has a GitHub uh, repository so you can get Tesseract and compile it yourself on whatever platform you're on if you're on Ubuntu there is a package for it in in, in apt okay uh, right so uh, getting back to our PDF I want to be able to use optical character recognition to extract uh, at least at least for now the English text that's the default language for Tesseract OCR so that's what we'll start with I want to be able to extract all of this English text okay um, so the first thing we need to do is convert this uh, this uh, PDF into an image and we should convert it into a high quality image so another package you might want to install if it's not installed already is something called image magic so we can do sudo apt install image magic m a g i c k okay so if we have image magic installed then we have a program in image magic called convert convert and we want to convert this pdf into a high resolution image uh, the the higher the resolution we we can get the better Tesseract will be able to detect the characters uh, inside of it. Now, optical character recognition is not perfect, um, but we can definitely get a lot more. Um, we can definitely get some text out of it, let's say. So I'm going to run convert dash density. Density uh, 300. And then uh, our PDF is test.pdf. And I'm going to say depth 8 and strip. Uh, background white alpha off and then I want to say out.tiff so I'm gonna save this as a tip now what what is this command doing well basically I'm converting the PDF and I'm making the density uh, 300 which essentially makes it high high definition or high high resolution image depth 8 strip background white and background white is setting the background of the image to white that way tesseract can work a little bit better alpha we are removing um, all of the alpha channels essentially so we're taking out alpha, alpha alpha channels we are setting the background to white and we are making the density or the um, uh, resolution very high and then we're outputting all of the pdf into a uh, mm -hmm. tiff file okay so i hit enter and now it's going through and converting each page in the PDF into a single 
tiff file. Okay, so now that it's done, uh, we want to, well, I can show you the, the TIFF file real quick. Let's see the PDF first. Now notice that we have a couple pages inside the PDF file. And in the TIFF file, we open it up and we just have one page. Now, if you look at this, you might think, well, I'm missing some other pages, but actually they're layered inside there. We can look at the, um, how many, uh, the resolution of the um, uh, uh, image. It's relatively high re resolution and it's 121 megabytes now. Um, so high resolution, um, each page in the PDF becomes essentially a layer, okay? So we have now our, our output TIFF and we want to uh, run Tesseract over this output TIFF. So I'm just gonna run Tesseract, Tesseract uh, out TIFF and then I want to give it the name of whatever whatever um, text file I want. I'm just going to say ENG and that's going to be the English text file that it's going to, to um, get out. If I don't put any language arguments here, then it will just try to detect English. Okay. So now it's going through, it found page one. Okay, so now that it's done, um, I'm going to open up the original PDF so we have an idea of what, what the text is. Um, move that over here. And then I have the... Um, and then I have the extracted text over here. Now, what do we, what do we actually have here? Notice, in the PDF, I have basically a uh, Korean title and then a title in English. So, um, yeah. Korean title shows up in as just kind of gibberish or, or numbers here. And then I have the title in English. English names are okay. This Korean text, um, which is the first paragraph, we have uh, just gibberish in the first paragraph. And then we have the English uh, abstract. The English abstract is mostly okay. So um, let's look and try to compare the, the English. So many systems rely on reliable timestamps to determine time and date, particular action event. So in this case, because there wasn't any, um, uh, can we say, things in the way, um, it was able to pretty accurately pull out at least the abstract. Now I've seen some cases where, the, um, especially if this is a scanned copy, the scan is not very clear and you don't get very accurate um, uh, extraction. Um, but in this case, it looks like it worked It worked pretty well, obviously, except for the Korean. So, um, how can we... Uh, yeah, so this is the English. So, how can we then extract uh, the Korean text? Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, we can only extract one language at a time. So, if we know that a, a file has English and something else, uh, then we need to... Um, uh, uh, basically run the program twice, okay? So you might, if you're going to be extracting other languages, install another package, another package. So sudo apt install, and then um, if we do tesseract ocr, uh, actually we should do search, sorry. app-cache search, search tesseract ocr, then you will find, if you're in Ubuntu, you'll find a bunch of other languages that you can install. And these are basically pre-trained language files. So here we have Tesseract OCR Korean. Um, I didn't install Korean from the, the uh, apt repository. I installed it from uh, the Git repository. So the Git repository, we have Tesseract test data, and then uh, all of these trained data sets are essentially the languages or are the languages that they've trained up and they have all of the different languages and Korean is here. Okay, so KRR trained data, that's Korean uh, data set. So I've already installed that. You can either install it from the package or download it directly from the GitHub repository. Then if we want to be able to use it, then I need to run Tesseract just like before. Uh, we have our out tiff. Remember, we need to run this over the image that we generated. And then I need to use dash L to represent language. And then whatever the language code is in a three character code. In, our, in my case, it's KOR for Korean. And then I just want to say KOR, and then it will output KOR.txt. Okay, so now if I hit enter, it's going to give a bunch of errors because it detected weird line endings that were not in Korean. Remember, we have 
English and some other characters as well. And then it starts on page one. So now it's going through page one. Okay, so now it's already on page two. I'm gonna open up uh, the document again. So we've extracted against now a bunch of junk basically, but if you see um, the title is correct and uh, the first abstract paragraph that was in Korean is also correct. So uh, now we need a, basically a way to differentiate between Korean text and English text um, and essentially filter out everything that's not uh, in proper Korean text here. Um, so that's pretty much it for, for Tesseract OCR. Um, it's working really well uh, for me for what I want to do uh, to extract um, uh, text from different types of files. Um, I've already used it quite a bit. Um, I didn't have to train anything up. All the, tra all the trained models are already there and by default they work pretty well. Uh, obviously not perfectly, but especially for scans, but um, for PDFs or images that you would find online, it usually works pretty well. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.